Hello students, welcome to the unit on database management. So this unit consists of 20 marks and this is the part 9 of this particular unit. So today's topic of discussion is sorting data in SQL. Sorting means arranging data in ascending or descending order. So in today's part, we'll be learning how to arrange the data in any order. Okay, so let's go through the syllabus. So this is our syllabus and out of the syllabus, we are going to do the part which is highlighted in red. So let's begin with the concept of sorting. So sorting means arrangement of data in ascending or descending order. Let us consider a table. The name of this table is EMP. So pay attention to the E salary column. So now E salary is not arranged in any order. Okay, that means it is neither arranged in ascending order nor in descending order. But if I use the concept of sorting by using certain commands in SQL, then it will be sorted in this form. So here what we have done, if you see the recent table, you can see that the employee salary has been arranged in descending order, means from greater to lower. So this can be done with the help of sorting. So what is sorting? Sorting refers to arrangement of data in ascending or descending order. So for the concept, for doing sorting in SQL, you require a clause. That clause is called as the order by clause. So the order by clause is used in SQL to arrange data in any order. The default order with this clause is ascending. So if you do not specify anything after order by clause, then the default order, that means then your data will be sorted in ascending order. What is the syntax for doing sorting? The syntax is for taking all the columns, we'll write select star from table name, order by column name. Let's say we are going to sort by employee salary. So in column name, what will come? E cell will come. After that, ASC slash DESC. If you want to sort in ascending order, after column name, you can just put a semicolon and press the enter key and your result will be displayed. But if you give ASC, then also it will be sorted in ascending order. If you want to sort in descending order, after the column name by which you want to sort, you have to give the word DESC. So this is the first syntax. But if you want to remove certain columns, then you can use the second syntax, which is you need to specify the column name. So select column name 1, 2, up to N from table name, order by column name ASC or DESC. One thing must be kept in mind that if you are sorting in ascending order, you might remove the word ASC. Let's try to understand how this works with the help of some sorting examples. So let's say this is a table which is not sorted in any order and we want to sort it in some order. So let's say we want to sort the employee salary in descending order. For that, the command would be follow the first syntax, which is select star from table name. What is the table name here? EMP order by E cell. Why E cell? Because we want to do the sorting with respect to employee salary column, DESC. So if we do that, then we'll get the output as follows. So as you can see in the output, the employee salary has been sorted in descending order. Also mind you that along with employee salary, all the other corresponding fields has also moved with it. Okay, let's say we want to sort it in ascending order, then we will give the command select star from EMP order by E cell ASC. Or even if you eliminate the word ASC, then also you will get the data which will be sorted in ascending order. So here we have sorted by ascending order. If you want to eliminate certain uh, columns, then you can write the column names. Let's say we want only the names of the, the employees who, who, and order it by ascending order. Then we'll write select e name from EMP order by e cell. That means the sorting will be done with respect to employee salary. But what will be displayed? E cell will be displayed and e-name will be displayed. Therefore, we are getting the names of those employees of all the employees we have got but here the data of the names have been sorted in ascending order of the salary which the employees get. Let's try to implement it and see it. So let's take this is our table. This is our employee table. We want to sort it by employee salary in descending order. So we'll write it as select star from 
select star from table name table name is emp order by let's say we want to order it in descending order e cell dsc then press the enter key you will see that employee salary has been sorted in descending order if we want to sort by ascending order you can write the same query will be there but in place of dsc you can write asc or even if you eliminate the word asc as you can see here then also it will be sorted in ascending order why because ascending order is the default order for sorting let's say we want only the employees names which are sorted in descending order of salary so then how we'll write instead of star we'll write that field which we require let's say select e name from table name table name is emp then order by let's say we want to do the sorting by employee salary then if i want to sort it in descending order i'll write desc and press the enter key you will find that the only employee name has been displayed and it is displayed in the descending order of their corresponding salary okay this is an example of sorting let's go to some of the variations in sorting next is sorting data on multiple columns so till now we were learning how to sort data only by a single column but sometimes the requirement is that you have to sort it by using multiple columns so let's learn how to sort data on multiple columns so in order to sort the data based on multiple columns we need to specify the sort order after each column okay so here what we need to do we can use multiple column sorting but after each column we need to give the sorting order that means whether we want to sort it in ascending or descending order let's look at the syntax the syntax is select star from table name order by column one ascending slash descending whatever you require comma column two ascending slash descending whatever you require okay but and if you want to remove certain columns then you can obviously specify the column names in place of star but the syntax is same so let's take a table and the name of the table is st info and as you can see in towards your right hand side the here it is not sorted in any order but let's say we want that all the details of section a students come first but the percentage should come in descending order means from highest to lowest okay then what we write in the query we'll write select star from st info the name of the table is st info order by section asc that means we want the details of all the section a students first per dsc that means we want section a student first but percentage should be as arranged in descending order then this will be the query so what will get as the output in the output we'll see that all the section a students are there at the beginning and the percentage has been arranged in descending order after section a students results are completed then section b students results have started and the percentage has been sorted in descending order so this is how we sort data on multiple columns let's try to implement it so at first we'll display the original st info table select star from st info here as you can see the sections are mixed but we want sections to be sorted in ascending order percentage in descending order so how we'll write select star from table name table name is st info then order by we want to order by section in ascending order and percentage in descending order so this will be the query after that we'll get the result as per the query that means section is arranged in ascending order and percentage has been arranged section wise in descending order this is how we sort data on multiple columns let's go to the next concept which is specifying the custom sort order custom sort order means sometimes we want the data to be sorted as per the user's choice which may not be ascending or descending order so in that case we do the custom sort concept 
So if the ordering is to be done as per the user's choice and not as per ascending or descending order, it is known as custom sort order. For doing custom sort order, we have a function. That function is called field function. Remember, the field function is used along with order by clause for specifying custom sort order. What is the syntax? The syntax is for displaying all the columns, select star from table name, order by field, then we'll within parenthesis, we will write the column using which we want to sort and then we'll give the sort order. It will be clear when we go to the examples. Or if you want to remove certain columns, you can just specify the column names, but the syntax will be same. So which function will be used in addition to order by clause? Field function will be used for what purpose? For custom sort ordering. So let's say we have this particular table. Here, we want to arrange the names as per our wish. Then we'll write it in this manner. Select star from table name. Table name is stinfo. The name of the table is stinfo. Order by field. After field, we have to give the name of the column by which we want to give the custom sort. We want to arrange it by our own customized name. So we'll write name. After that, we will give the sort ordering. Let's say we want that Sophia's name should come at the beginning, then the name of Bob, then the name of Zabin, then Elias, then Raj. See here, the ordering is neither in ascending order nor descending order. This is a customized order. So it can be done using the concept of custom short ordering using field function. Okay. So here, now, if you see the output, you will notice that the name column has been arranged not as per ascending order, not as per descending order, but according to the customized value as given in the query. Okay, let's try to implement it. We'll do the custom sort ordering. So this is our original table. We want to do the custom sort ordering. So for that, we'll write select star from table name. Table name is stinfo order by after that we need to give the field function we want to do the or customized ordering with respect to the name column so we'll write the, the, the name of the column which is name comma then we'll give the customized sort ordering which is in this case i want that sophia's num name should come at the very beginning then let's say i want the name of raj to come then let's say i want the name of allies to come then let's say I want the name of Bob to come. So we get got how many? One, two, three, four. And someone's name, name is missing. Uh, Zabin. Yeah, let's say at the end we want the name of Zabin to come. So this is our customized ordering. As we press the enter key, you will find that the name has been uh, disclosed in that order in which we have specified within the field function. So this is how a customized ordering can also be done. Okay, let's go to the next concept, which is using expressions in order by clause. So if you want to display certain things temporarily, then you can use the uh, expressions within the select statement. So expressions can be used with order by clause in order to display data temporarily without affecting the actual data. So if we use the expressions in select statement, then whatever data is displayed, that is only for display. But the actual data in the actual table will not be affected here. So what is the syntax? The syntax is selects are from table name, order by, after that we need to give the expression and then ASC or DESC as per the order. Okay, so let's say this is our table. And here, let's say we want to increase the percentage of everybody by 1% and then sort it by descending order. So for that, what we'll do? So also I forgot to give the second syntax. The second syntax is this one. If you want only specific columns, you can just give specific columns over there. So here the query would be select star from table name. Table name is stinfo order by. After that, we need to give the expression. What is our requirement? Our requirement is that we want to increase each and every percentage by 1% and then sort it in descending order. So for this purpose, what I've given order by PER plus one 
and then I have given the word DESC. So if you look at the percentage, you will see that all the percentage has been increased by 1% and then it has been displayed. Okay, so in this way you can do it. Okay, so this is how we use expressions in order by clause. So this is our table. So if you want to give expression, so let's say we'll give select. Uh, let's say we want only name and percentage to be increased by one. So let's say we'll give PR plus one from table name. Table name is what? ST info order by. Now we'll give the expression which is PR plus one. Let's say we want to order by descending order. Then we'll give DESC and press the enter key. So as you can see here, all the percentages, see 84 has become 85, 82.2 uh, has been, 81.2 has been increased by 1. So all the percentage has been increased by 1 and the ordering is given in descending order. Okay, so in this way, what we can do, we can use expressions within the order by clause. Okay, so that's all for today. So this is our syllabus. Out of the syllabus, we have discussed uh, the parts which are highlighted in red. The next class will be discussing about group by and having. Thank you very much.